my name is DDNM, and I am here today to share my testimony about how I came to Christ. I have been blessed to be born in a Christian family that have supported me throughout my life. I was baptized as an infant. I followed my family to church on Sundays. We prayed as a family every morning and night. At age 13, I attended um, confirmation classes. So um, this class is required for one to be eligible to break bread. It was like an accomplishment for me, even though I was not fully aware of what I was getting involved in. To the best of my knowledge, after you have met the class requirement, the bishop will lay his hands on your head and declare you eligible in the presence of the crowd. This ceremony permitted me to join the Atod service and participated in the Holy Communion. At age 16, life happened to my family as I, sorry, life happened to my family as my dad was diseased. And this event increased our dependency on God. My mom burdened her shoulder to carry the extra load. Above all, she taught me discipline and obedience to God. I came to Canada and my first visit to this church was amazing, a beautiful, amazing congregation. The preaching was very Bible-based. I still thought to myself that leading a decent life is all that is required to make heaven. But any time I walk out of the door at the end of a service, I always have this burden in my heart to totally surrender my life to Christ by testifying in the waters of baptism. But I kept on delaying. Till one Sunday evening, doing fundamentals of Faith make up, sorry, fundamentals of doing fundamentals of faith Bible study makeup class. So the class was supposed to be between I, Roger, and Pastor Rob. But for some reasons, Roger was not in class. And that was a good opportunity to have a one on one interaction with Pastor Rob. He asked me if I died today, where will I go to? And I answered heaven. He asked why. I told him that I'm a human, and I can't be as holy as Christ, but our God knows that I try my best to live a righteous life. Pastor Ron made me to understand that Christ died for my sins, and if I confess, which is testify with my mouth, that Jesus is Lord, and believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead, I will be saved. He took me through some scriptures in the Bible, including John 14:6. Where Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. He went further to explain that baptism is the initial step of a faithful heart, a public confession of my faith to Christ Jesus. At the end of the class, he asked me to lead the closing prayer. I opened my mouth, but I couldn't utter a word, because the tears brushing down my eyes were uncontrollable. He understood and ended the class. Over the past few months, God has been doing amazing and wonderful works in my heart and in my heart. Sorry. Over the past few months, God has been doing amazing and wonderful things in my life and in my heart. I have found that there is no greater joy than obedience to God. He has blessed me with the realization that obedience to Him is not only for His glory, but also what is best for me, because he knows me more than I know myself. So today I declare to the church and the, to the whole world that Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. And because he saved me, I have submitted to him in obedience as my Lord. And I am publicly confessing this truth through being baptized. And I urge anyone who is yet to be baptized to adhere to God's obedience and not delay like I did. And tomorrow might be too late. Thank you very much. And God bless you. Thank you. Good evening. In the presence of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, as of all the angels and Satan and this host, and all the fellow believers here, friends, I ask you, have you repented of your sins and put your faith in Jesus Christ alone as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Having put your faith in, are you now willing to testify of that hope for you? Are you willing to best of your ability with the help of the Holy 